afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stocks. Walsh. I'm here to go over Groupon. Groupon was a baby, baby gap today. Get it here. So it never broke the low, but I got it down as close as you could have gotten it down to the low. And got out before lunch, which I really wanted to do. But I will tell you, this is weak. <laughs> in fact, let's look at the daily chart before I go over the trade from today. This could follow through. This could very well follow through. It's broke this area in here. I don't see how this can't follow through. I don't know where this is going to close today, an hour left in the day. This may not follow through tomorrow if it closes around here. If it closes above four, it's not going to follow through tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to happen. If it closes above 395, it probably won't follow through tomorrow. If this closes under 390, it probably will follow through tomorrow. It's a baby swing trade, too. Just goes to show you, you can short stuff that's cheap. This is dirt cheap, and I was looking for something that was going to be easy. I felt this was it. <clears throat> Let's go over the trade. Really big drop in the morning in this, which I liked. I did not do this. This was really a big move, but then it came up on my radar after I saw it, and it went back down to the low. Now, here was the setup right in here except for i really felt that the stop should be over four so when this went over here i didn't get stopped out because i gave it the cushion over four this literally ran up in here and held me within a penny now this this shows here on orbis 402 but i didn't get taken out i think the one advantage of size is that sometimes if something doesn't really go full on through the number you don't get out but if it blows through the number, the disadvantage is you could get out past the price. So there's pros and cons to trading size. In this case here, I held with the position, stayed with it. Some people retook it again in here. After it came up in here, I almost was going to kill it. I really almost was going to kill it. I felt that it shouldn't go over for a, another time. It did not. My hand was in the button to just kill the trade, even though it hadn't stopped me out. But then, then it continued. So... It came going, 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 going. This was a little bit longer of a trade. Let me show the whole thing. And my, my plan of action was to get out of this before lunch. And luckily it worked. So I get out of this right in here. It came down. Looked like it was going to break the low. I was already out of it. But once I saw this in here, I was just said, that's it. I'm done. Anyways, this did go down. Did hit 380. Never broke 379. <clears throat> so it, it still looks lower. There was a nice move in this though. It did not go to the dream target, but it had a solid short in it, held the levels, really went down to the low, got out a little bit before there, but it was a good trade. It very well could have broken the low, except the market held strong today. But I will tell you, this is weak. I mean, look at this. This is so, so weak. And, and actually this is closing, probably gonna close a week today. An hour left in the trading day, but this, this could continue tomorrow. So nice short in Groupon today. Didn't fall off a planet, but still had a solid entry, held the levels, and went to the, at least the first target. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at the stock if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class, which is March 20th and 21st. Have a great day, everyone.